News is coming in. U.S. is bracing for Russian counter-strike in Ukraine. U.S. has closed down the embassy in Ukraine, instructing employers and U.S. citizens in Ukraine to be prepared for immediate shelter. Growing concerns of a Russian strike, and that's the reason why U.S. is there getting ready for a counter-strike on the part of Russia. I'm going to go straight across to our foreign affairs editor. Geeta Mohan getting in more details, a Russian counter-strike but expected and U.S. they're not taking any chances, Geeta. Well, uh, this is massive escalation in the Russia-Ukraine war at a time when Trump has uh, has won a clear mandate in the United States of America. Biden administration trying to put all its force behind Ukraine uh, with Biden government now having approved long-range missiles to be used by Ukraine, which certainly has provoked Russia. And Russia has warned uh, United States of America and the European Union, uh, Ukrainian allies, that uh, this could lead to a uh, massive response by Russia. They had used the long-range missiles uh, yesterday in Ukraine, uh, which were intercepted by Russia, but one fell in on a military side. So yes, expect a Russian response, and because of the uh, because the uh, the Americans are expecting a mass Russian response into Ukraine, uh, the embassy now being shut, and all UK American citizens being asked to leave Ukraine. So this is escalation after a thousand days of war between Russia and Ukraine. You know, also President Biden has approved the use of anti-U.S. Uh, anti-personnel mines. What is that exactly? You can talk to us about that as well. Well, all those uh, equipments and weapons that uh, are good arm uh, Russia in a way uh, which uh, is not just ground forces fighting each other are going to be uh, uh, have been uh, kept at bay, and uh, the mines or the long-range missiles both. Uh, 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 would uh, would damage and and uh, critical infrastructure of uh, the Russian military as also uh, leads to massive penetration into Russia when it comes to the war by Ukraine. For now, uh, Ukraine was confined to the border areas and only making forward movement into territories that have already been captured, Ukrainian territories that have already been captured by Russia. Uh, but should these uh, weapons be used, which they have started using, uh, Russia could face massive losses within its own territory, not the occupied territories, and that certainly would escalate the war. Uh, we are given to understand that countries bordering Ukraine, particularly Roma uh, Poland uh, and, and, the, uh, and the countries that recently joined NATO, including Finland, Sweden, uh, are all fortifying their uh, borders because they know that if Russia strikes and Russia has vowed to strike allies of Ukraine, that they would be the first ones to take the hit. Uh, and that's the reason why we're looking at a massive escalation. Biden administration trying to do everything it can before the Jan uh, 20th inauguration of uh, President uh, Trump, uh, President-elect Trump. Uh, but again, we'll have to see what Trump really does. There are statements that are awaited from the Republican camp, from the Trump camp as well. And uh, once that comes out, we'll know or there'll be clarity whether this uh, this use of long-range missiles and mines uh, have a deadline or not. I'm going to leave it at that. Geeta Mohan getting in those details. Russia has promised retaliation and retaliation. You can but expect U.S. here not taking any chances as far as the known embassy is concerned. They close it down in Kiev is what we know. Major escalation in the Russia-Ukraine war. Ukrainian defense forces reportedly carried out the first strike in the border regions within Russian territory using Western-supplied ATACMS ballistic missiles. This after U.S. President Joseph Biden's administration approved Kiev's limited use of the weapons to hit targets inside of Russia. The strike targeted a Russian military facility near the city of Karashev in the Bransank region, located approximately 130 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. Reports say Russia shot down five of the six missiles fired by Ukraine, while another was just damaged.